the one thing that stood out to me to, about the whole experience is the way kids navigate this space today versus how I navigated as a kid. I had this kid come up to me, show me this this auto Kobe Bryant. Now, mind you, I I had. I had a ton of cards in my collection, like, you know what I mean? Like that I was showing off that. And I was like, all right, let's make a trade. And he's like, nah, uh, this card, my value is like 1300. I was like, I was like, damn, kids really trying to make money today. Oh yeah. And like, it's nothing wrong with that. And, I and still, they know the, I still, and they know the market, they know value, yeah, they know how to negotiate. I, I salute kids for like being young entrepreneurs, but there's another reason why I do what I do with the hobby experience, because I also want kids to understand the beauty of the space and everything that it has to offer. And there's a part of this space that I feel in my experience that is worth more than money. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that's the value that I think at times that is overshadowed by the amount of wealth that you know navigates or that, so that, that gets spread around in, yeah. in this space and and i and i always said and i i even said this to like the people that i talk to in my circle um when it comes to cards like there's going to come a time when like all this big money that's happening in this space is going to go away and, and what, what's going to be left is is the people who truly love collecting cards so I was like, we have to ensure that these kids who are collecting now, who got into collecting during this boom, because a Jordan that sold close to a million dollars or a Luca that sold for 4.6 million or a Trout that sold for this much money, we got to make sure like the same way old heads will pull out our, our, our collar and, and, and kick game to us and talk game to us. We gotta, we gotta like instill that same game into kids, and not like discourage them from making money, but see the value, the totality of the value in this entire space, because yes. that's what's going to keep the money there, and that that's what's going to, that's what's going to make it lucrative for you, because people spend money with people who create an experience, and and people who make them feel a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. And um, and, that, and that's more than just a transaction. Yeah, yeah. And I only spend money with 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 people I have a connection with, or yeah. like I have I a, a legit experience with. Mm -hmm. Like, I I've been at car shows where I've gone up to tables or people who had good cars that I was interested in, and the the vibe wasn't there or like the eye contact or like anything that makes that transaction like not saying you gotta put me front and center but like have like have some cohesion with me like have some like energy with me like vibe with me for a second tell me about the car talk to me about the car you know what I mean like don't just tell me a price like obviously we all here to like buy cars and you're here to make money but I'm sure there's more to you into this um and yeah those people i don't spend i don't spend my money what i'll go to the table right next to that and somebody would say hey you remind me of someone or like what do you do i see the way you're dressed you know tell me your story i was like oh let's let's have this like, conversation then instantaneously that's a different experience right yeah yeah, yeah. so um you know that, that's why I do what I do. Um, and, and like, also want kids, this generation to understand, to see the value in every car. Because every car is connected to a personal experience at some moment. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can go into my collection right now and, and pull out a, a junk wax car that's probably worth one cent. But I guarantee I wrote some hobby blog about it or had some moment with it or it reminded me of a collecting experience that I had and I had as a kid. And it's so much more valuable um, than the the monetary price that's put on. Like for me, right? Whenever someone says hoops, 
I think of the David Robinson rookie card. Oh, yeah. When I, yeah, when I hit a brand name hoops, that's the first card I think about. Now, that car was a lot of that car was produced. There you go. A lot of that car was do. And then you got the other variation of him at the draft or, or at the press conference holding the jersey. I got that one too. Yep. Yep. So whenever I hear the, the name hoops, that's just me. I think of David Robinson. Yeah. Now, though, a lot of those cars that you have in a good grade, they're not worth a lot. But no. it was it was about the story of David Robinson coming out of the Naval Academy. Some people people don't fail to realize this. Some people thought he never played in the NBA. Yeah. That was a process there to get him out of yeah. the Naval Academy, get him into the NBA, and then how he started developing over time. From the time he started to the time Tim Duncan came. Yeah. That's just me. Whenever I hear the name Hoops Brand, that's like David Robinson, man. It's just you know, and then the Jordan cars and all that are, are the next connection. Oh, yeah. Because those right. cars were, yeah. The, those cards in my neighborhood, like, it it was sort of like bragging rights. So, like, at Lutlow, if you ain't have a Jordan card, you wasn't a part of the conversation. Like, you were still a part of the conversation, but you wasn't a part of the conversation. Mm-hmm. It was more like, yo, young boy, go get your weight up. That's you right. know what I mean? Like, you got and 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 that's why we we built our collections through trading, and it's like, you know what I mean. So like, once once we understood like when sets would come out or when like certain packs would come out, mm-hmm. like that that's how we started to build our collection. Like we understood that that side of it. But and you, check, you would check the yeah. checklist and see what some series yeah. one, and series two. Yeah. And you knew you may go to a retail store and there's a lot of Series 1 on the shelf, but you really need them cars in Series 2. I would ask yeah. the store manager, when is this stuff coming out? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that, was, our, that, was, our, that was the that was our hobby experience. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And, um, you know, oftentimes I think back to, like, man, I missed out on so much as a kid when I was collecting in a hobby because I didn't have those experiences. But... You know, it was, it was one of those things we made the best with what we had. And, and now and as an adult, I get to, to do that. And I get to share those moments with, you know, my daughter. And, and, and we have a lot of fun. You yeah. know, whenever we go to, like, local card shows or, like, our local hobby stores, you know, the moment she walk in, like, she she takes over the whole room. You know what I mean? And uh, it, it's, it's fun to, like, be in that moment with her because... I don't care if she collects cards, but what I'm showing her is you can be passionate about something. Mm -hmm. You can showcase your passion about something and it's okay to like be unique in your passion. Uh, And uh, like, even now when I like think about like the content, like I don't even like to call myself a content creator. I tend to say like, I'm just, providing the avenue for people to see cards differently and enjoy. Yep. I'm not trying to influence someone to buy something or to like use this product, but just another way, like there's moments I sit in my lab and I just think of creative ways to like, how can I showcase a 1990s card or how can I showcase this vintage card or, you know what I mean? And, or, or like, Oh, I remember this moment I had with this car. Let me write this story and share this story. Um, and and I just try to be authentic in that and 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 showcase my true self as a collector. But um, make sure like the the human capital side of it is is authentic and 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 true. Um, yes, sir. And, I, and and then I just have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, man. You know, right, but. My wife asked me, like, why do you collect cars? I'm like, because it's fun. Like, she's like, I never knew you did that. I was like, yeah, because, like, when I was a kid doing it and, like, life happened, I, like, walked away from it. And Mm -hmm. I never really, like, talked about it to anyone. And, like, now I can really, like, talk about it and and unpack those layers. And, And then also, like, through collecting, like, you know, I've addressed like some, like some traumatic moments I've had in my life. It, it can work you know like that. I mean? yeah. yeah, and um, 
I, I don't I don't see it going away anytime soon. 